you know, a lot of times your environment, where you grew up, how you grew up, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins, your parents sometimes, they grew up in a different era or maybe they're growing up now, but they didn't grow up in your era. And it doesn't matter if you're young, older. We all grew up in a different era of things, in a different generation. Depending on which one you are, whether you're a baby boomer or X and Y and Z and millennial, it doesn't matter. But this is the thing. Your environment sometimes dictate who you are. But let me ask you this. How long are you going to be fucking stupid? Excuse my English. Okay, I know some of you don't like cursing. But I got to drive that home just a little bit. How long are you going to be fucking stupid? Because this is the thing. And I've said it before. You keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. I just don't get it. Now, I've heard of some recent game. And I really don't talk about all these trends on TMZ and Facebook. Because I'm not on those social networks. YouTube is the key to get out to the people and get the information. The dick and pussy challenge? Now, I don't know what it's about, but it has nothing to do about this money, Ross World. The grind is real. My money makes money. The grind is real, okay? There's a systematic problem in all sorts of neighborhoods. It doesn't matter what, what background you are from. There is a issue. There is a problem, and this is it. How do you change your status? How do you elevate your mind? You get up on this money. Now, I came out with videos about reading books, the psychology of money, and that's what it's about. Where's your mind at with money? Are you making money to spend money? Are you making money to save money? Are you making money to invest money? Are you simply taking the money that your organization give you and give it right back out to the economy? Which one are you doing? So let me tell you what rich people do. I'm going to tell you what rich people do. They made their money. Then they took that money. They took a portion of it. They took a fraction. I don't know how much. And they started to invest their money. Then they threw some money in savings. Then they threw some money in real estate. They diversified their cash. The grind is real. Why is the grind real? Because you have so many factors weigh against you. You have kids. Mother or father doesn't matter. Maybe you're a single parent. Maybe you work two jobs, but you're saying with the time that you have off and a lot of times, see the subconscious mind is one of the most powerful forces in your body. Now I'm looking down at my phone because I'm reading a book and I want to give you a name of that book and it has to deal with the subconscious mind because a lot of people don't understand this because I keep talking about the, psycho the psychology of money. This is the name of the book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And the author is Joseph Murphy. That's Joseph Murphy. The power of your subconscious mind. Pick it up, read it, whatever. It doesn't matter. The grind is real because you don't understand that in your environment, because I grew up in Southeast D.C., okay, wasn't nothing good about my neighborhood. And people say, wow, how did you get where you are today where majority of the people you grew up are still living there or dead or in jail and pretty not doing something. Now, a lot of people I graduated with, they're doing pretty okay. They're working for the government. They're working for the State Department. You know, they're working for some sort of entity. But not all of us, as we were said, made it out. The environment. The, the environment, okay? And not, not simply the environment, okay? Because it's possible to make it out your environment. But also the people that you surround yourself. Who are you surrounding yourself with, okay? If they ain't talking about nothing then they about nothing. Get away from those people. The grind is real because you're like, well, if I do that, I don't have any friends. You don't need those type of friends. If your friends are always talking about, man, how are we going to turn up this weekend, girl? How are we going to turn up? If your biggest thing is your nails getting done, you getting a pedicure, you buying a dress, a skirt, an outfit to go out, if that's your biggest talk, really? Are you talking about civil rights? Apartheid, <laughs> Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter. Are you talking about this money, investing, savings? I mean, what are you talking about other than turning up or the dick and pussy game? I mean, this is crazy because people do not understand that the psychology of money is real. 
You have to tie your mind to your money and not your environment. You have to tie your mind to your money and not people in your circle who are no good for you. You have to tie your mind to your money in order to know how to elevate it. This is the only way, okay? Because we can keep using the same excuse that the reason why I'm not doing well in my finances is because of this person. The reason why I'm not doing well in my finances is because of these people. The reason why I'm not doing good in my finances is because I don't know. That's a damn lie. Let me tell you something about YouTube. Let me tell you something about the world. Let me tell you something about Barnes and Noble. Okay? Barnes and Noble. First and foremost, if you don't want to read, come to my channel. I got too many damn videos to teach you about money. You don't like the way I, I give the information out? Go to Dr. Boy's Walking channel. He don't know me, I don't know him, but he got great information. If you don't like looking at videos, go to Barnes and Noble and learn how to do it. Download an app on Android, iOS, that's Apple. These are the ways how to do it, but you keep giving yourself excuses. See, you don't understand that the grind is real. The grind is not you going to work every day. That's easy. You've been doing that for a while. You know how to get a job. You know how to go to a job. You know how to make money from a job. When people are like, oh, I'm out here grinding, the grind starts here. The grind starts here. So what is your plan? Is your plan to simply get a job and make money? Oh, I'm going to save up for my car. See, this is the thing. When I was in the ghetto, we had very, very small goals. Okay? Very, very small goals. Why am I saying that? Because this, these were my goals. Okay? And these were goals of the people who were around me. Oh, man. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a job and I'm going to get a car and get an apartment. What else? Oh, man. You know, I'm on the ground. I'm going to grind. I'm going to go work here. I'm going to work there. I'm going to get a car and I'm going to get an apartment. What else? Oh, well, you know, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to lift this and I'm going to move that and I'm going to do this and gonna, then I'm going to get a car and I'm going to get an apartment. What else? That was it. We couldn't see you pass getting a car and getting an apartment and keep doing the same job. Where other people from other environments, the grind is real, other neighborhoods, they were like, I'm saving up my money. They're 19, 20, 21, 25. I'm investing my money. I'm taking out a business loan. Okay, I'm, we're not talking about debt, so get off it. I'm taking out a business loan to start this business. Oh, I'm working with people over in China offline to get this product at a quarter of the price or a third of the price and then sell it for double or triple the price. The grind is real. Do you understand what I'm talking about? A lot of you, a lot of you have these excuses why you don't want to start your own business. Now, it's hard because I'm trying, but it's hard. But... Don't let me discourage you. Don't let yourself discourage you. Don't let nobody else discourage you. Girl, if you want to sell fake nails that press on, then do it. Go online, research. It's always someplace in China. Or guess what? Don't even depend on China. Make it yourself. Figure out how to make it. Whatever's profitable for you. Okay? Dog, if you want to sell football or NBA shoestrings where they have... You know, the Giants or the Redskins or whoever or the Oakland Raiders on a shoestring. Then start your own business. The grind is real. Get your mind out of your environment and elevate it. Okay? I need for you to ascend your mind to a higher plane of existence because in that neighborhood, in your environment, around your circle of friends, it's damn near impossible. It's damn near impossible. The grind is real because the psychology of money will have you to fool yourself that these people are in your best interest. This is what I want you to do. I want you to listen to what they're talking about. Are they talking about empowerment? Are they talking about economics? Are they talking about social economics? Are they talking about injustice or justice? What do they talk about other than Man, we're going to turn up. Man, you ever heard of this challenge? Just do this challenge. Listen, don't get involved with that stupid stuff. And I don't care if you 18 or 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. Do not get involved with all this stupid stuff and keep your eyes on the money. Keep your mind on the money. This is Ross World, where the grind is real, but the grind, it starts right here. I'm out.